Hello everyone, this is your host Mr. Top 10, and welcome back to another episode. According to one of the Credit Suisse report, there are 36 million millionaires in the world, and while many of them amass their respective fortunes through traditional means, investing, inventing, inheriting, a small cater have earned spots in the financial pantheon through more, let's say, inspired tactics. For instance, the brothers who sold chicken in a parking lot, or the man who spent decades gaming the lottery, or the woman who recycled her way to billionaire, yes with a B, status. Herein, we've gathered the 10 craziest, wackiest, most inventive manners in which people have crossed the million dollar line. Don't try to copy them, however, most of these methods will only work once. So when it comes to preserving your own financial status, brush up on the 10 easy ways to stop wasting money. In this video, we will talk about 10 craziest ways people have made one million dollars. But before we move on, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Number 10. By Selling Pixels in 2005, Alex2 registered MillionDollarHomepage.com, a 1,000 by 1,000 pixel blank slate. He sold off each pixel for a buck apiece, many companies purchased by the dozen and parked ads on top, and within a few months, became a millionaire. Two ultimately used his profits to launch Calm, the popular sleep and meditation app. Number 9. By Creating a Meme It's the meme that stole the internet's heart, I can has cheeseburger a simple photo of an open-mouthed cat asking for a cheeseburger. This photo was shared roughly 352 jillion estimated times, and served as a cornerstone for an army of websites, ultimately earning creator Eric Nakagawa a fortune to the tune of $10 million. Number 8. By Registering a URL Domain squatters, folks who register potentially URLs at low costs, then resell at a serious uptick when a buyer comes along, are not uncommon. What's uncommon, unprecedented even, is netting $2.6 million for a single address, which is what Chris Clark earned when he sold Pizza.com in 2008. Clark originally purchased the URL for $20 in 1994. Number 7. By Selling Chicken Wholesale In 2009, brothers Mike and J.C. Conrad started selling chicken in a Spokane, Washington parking lot for $1.49 per pound, then half the national price per pound average, under one condition buyers had to purchase 40 pounds. Within two days, the brothers sold 80,000 pounds and went on to launch Zaycon Fresh, a full-scale business based on the model. Currently, Zaycon employs about 80 employees and is headquartered in an office building in Spokane Valley. Number 6. By Selling Auto Parts Back in the 90s, John Kuhn opened up Extreme Performance Motorsports, an automotive parts shop in New York City. Normally, this wouldn't be remarkable, save for three Hulk-sized factors. 1. The company specialized in importing rare tuning parts from Asia. 2. At the time, it was the only shop in New York City of its kind. 3. Pimp My Ride, that old MTV reality show, became one of the official buyers, careening Kuhn into millionaire status. Number 5. By Selling Office Chairs It's rare to hear a story about someone turning $500 into 7 figures. It's neither unheard of to hear a story about a 14-year-old pulling it off. But Sean Belnick struck gold in 2001 by launching office chair retailer bizchair.com. By 2005, the site reported annual revenue of nearly $14 million. By 2008, that number tripled. Number 4. By Selling a Baseball On September 27, 1998, legendary and since disgraced St. Louis Cardinals slugger Mark McGuire hit his 70th home run of the season, shattering at the time records. Philip Olszewski happened to catch the ball and auctioned it off for a cool $3.5 million three months later. As Olszewski told Sports Illustrated, reporters still call him every year on the homer's anniversary. Number 3. By Gaming the Lottery To be sure, winning the lottery is no strange pathway to seven-figure status, unless you do it 14 times like Stefan Mandel. Starting in the 50s, Mandel bounced around global lotteries from Romania to Australia and would scoop up every available ticket, guaranteeing a win. Eventually, this led to his personal crown jewel in 1992, a $27 million bounty in Virginia, which he scored by purchasing 7.1 million tickets. Sadly, this process can't be repeated today. The possible combinations have grown too large. However, you can now win your chances for Saturday's drawing by pressing up on the most common Powerball winning numbers. Number 2. By Inventing a New Pet the perfect pet, according to Gary Dow, would never need to be fed or walked. It would never require a trip to the vet or groomer. And oh, it would never, ever die. Certainly no cat nor dog fulfills these rigid requirements. But a rock does. 
So in 1975, Dell actually ran with this idea and started selling rocks for pets. He sold each one at a dollar profit margin. Within a year, he had sold more than a million units, making him a bona fide millionaire. Number 1. By Collecting Cans After Kurt Deggerman, a man who, according to the Daily Mail, got by by collecting and reselling tin cans, died, his family discovered a 1 million pound, 1.36 million USD fortune. Apparently, he had compounded his fortune, originally earned through his cans, by playing the stock market. Want more Top 10 videos? Subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos on screen.